Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make re objects remove or remove objects in game such as the statue which is pre-spawned and anything else that's around you. Okay, first of all you need to know the basics of what all this stuff means. So if we're going to remove object uh, you got to learn what all this stuff means. So what this means is pretty much world, so for the world file or just for the world in general, uh, remove object and then remove the world object and this is the ID I'm not actually too sure what that is um, the direction it's facing so whether it's north south east west or something like that and then you, I think you can go up to four I'm not too sure on that um, and then the chords of X the chords of Y and then the chords of Z so up and down um, so pretty much I'm not even too sure what that is either so just leave it how it is um, but say you want to remove the statue in game and you have no idea how to find it out What you could do is you could right click it see it's called statue and then go to an object ID database such as this and type in statue One problem with this is you get a million and one statues So it could be in any of these and then any of these any of these and you have to go through all of them trying them out by going like object 745 or whatever one was and then hoping that it spawns the right object. Another thing that you can do and that I use is I made a little code in object handler after the click one um, interface where it says the debugger and then it will, this is by default Zenith in Zenith uh, it says log a log so on this if you click an object it will say it will give you clicked one object ID 22355 the chord of X, the chord of Y um, and then the chord of Z, I guess, whatever the 10 is, and the direction it's facing. But what I like to do is I made it, in case you're on a VPS, this will be easy. Just leave it how it is if you're on uh, running it locally like this. But if you're on a VPS, it's easier to make a quick statement in between the settings.debug one. And where it says, after this thing, make it if. And then you don't need the player get rights, but if you don't have it in there, then every single player will get this message. So if the player's gets right is over 9, which on my server is admin, um, then it will send the game message of nothing interesting happens, which I think is actually already in there. But then I added in the object ID and plus the ID. So when I click on the statue, it says nothing interesting happens, and then the object ID of whatever it is. So say I wanted to remove this object ID, I'd stand on it, make sure you're on the right tile. So what you can do is you can hold Control and Shift, right click and then click walk here under the statue and it will make you on the right uh, tile so what you do next is do dot dot chords or it may vary depending on your source but it should show you what chords you're standing on at the moment so my x is 3975 my y is 2844 and if you don't know x is across y to the sky uh, get it um, and then z is just up and down so up and down depending on what level you are zero is ground I think three is max and I don't even know what the regions do, so just ignore that crap. So, what you need is you need the X, the Y, and the Z, and then the object ID. So once you've got that, go into NPC Sporting, and then go to the bottom, copy it out, or copy this code. If you don't have this code, then, I don't know, just uh, copy it off the screen, or type it out yourself. Like I've said in, I think, the last video, I like to just copy and paste the code as it's easier, but it's not actually the best way to learn. If you want to learn this stuff without just copying and pasting it, you need to actually learn the whole world with a capital dot remove capital camel case remember object and then world object yada 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 but anyway after you've done that go half screen and half screen and then get the object ID like we already have 22355 so go object change this is the ID the first number in the two brackets here is the ID so it's good always to add a comment as well so be like home statue fix and then edit it, oops, where did that go, uh, there we are, so edit the ID to whatever ID it is, 22355, five. and then, I don't know what that is, and I'll get the chords, or the coordinates, I should say, which are 3795, so change this one, 3795, 2844, four. and then the uh, ZID is 0, so that's good, so then you save it, and it will say remove object, which is what we want, and then after you've done that, go back to your extension folder, do compile or whatever compile you want. I'm just going to use my utility compiler so it's just quicker. 
Um, name it now. Okay, ignore that because it's in player combat. Okay, well I got a few errors, so it may not work for me. But after you've done that, close your run CMD. If you want to restart or log in quickly, just close that. And then close or log out, then close run.cmd. Reopen it. Excuse the background, that was a joke on my server. Um, and then re log in. And the statue should. Oh, that's right. The statue should be disappeared. No, it didn't disappear. Okay, so we did something wrong. Uh, I think maybe the errors made it so it didn't work. I'm not actually too sure. Uh, remove object. Hang on, I'm going to check what we... Okay, so I resume... I, I mean, I fixed my errors, except for that one, which I don't actually know what it is. I don't know what API or deprecated API is, because I don't know Java. But I fixed all the errors, and now the statue disappeared. So we did actually do it right. It was just because we had some errors in our NPC spawning, or our utils folder. And since this compiler only compiles the utils folder, since there was an error, it like didn't compile that folder. And so it did not fix the changes, but that's how we done it. And some, f for some reason, I'm not actually too sure why, but for some reason, if you remove an object, you still can't walk where that object was. Uh, I don't know how to fix this, sorry. So, but at least it's gone. If it's just like a sore thing that you don't want to look at, like the statue maybe, um, then it's gone, or whatever you want to do. Uh, but hopefully that helps you do it. I'm pretty sure this is going to be real long. Oh no, it's actually six minutes. That's fine. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching guys, hopefully this helped you, and yeah, um, yeah, hopefully this helped you, so thanks for watching.